pitch to throw for the first time. And has his man Andre Alexander. He has the first down up to the 46 yard line. Immediately went after the freshman in that secondary. That's a good idea. You want to get a veteran, a senior, isolated on a freshman, number four, Freddie Smith on defense. He just turned him inside out and was wide open. A lot of room there. A little bit of a too much of a pad for Smith, and it's a first down for the Bulls. Spartan showing a blitz. And here it comes. Barsotti under pressure, throws it deep. Jones is out there. Makes a marvelous catch at the 15-yard line. Barsotti could only put it there because Craig Jones was so well covered. And Jones just showing those great hands that we've seen all year long. What about the protection? Look at perfect pocket protection. And how do you like this when you have a tight end that can go down and do that? Craig Jones, he's been really used as a split end in this game. And he's out there isolated one-on-one. -on -one. This is a straight fly pattern by the big guy going on the outside. And he makes a sprawling, brilliant catch to give the Bulldogs an excellent scoring opportunity. Coaches the deep pass as well as Jim Sweeney. And right now, no one in the Big West is throwing it as well as that man, Mark Barsotti. Skipper, left side. Touchdown, Fresno State. The blocking on the outside of that line makes it easy for Skipper to go 15, and that's a terrific start in this kind of game. Just a simple handoff, and it's an off-tackle play, and Greg Jones lays out a pretty good block, and Skipper's gone. That's five games in a row now. Kelly's got a touchdown. He's got a TD, and he's over 2,000. He's a happy young man. The start over Garnett Fountain. They're just outstanding. Let's roll into his left to avoid the rush. Throws it deep, has a man out there. It's intercepted at the three-yard line. Craig Bowens. The secondary has been getting better week by week. They had five interceptions two weeks ago against Utah State. And Lutz on third down is going for it all. Wanted Evans. And just playing center field back there, Bones has really a, an interception with ease. This is throwing it right into the defense, into that zone coverage. They had Evans really covered very well. That's excellent defense by the Bulldogs. And Johnson will go in motion. The blitz comes from Cox's side, but he's well picked up. And now the pass is thrown, and it's knocked down and intercepted. Tony Harris. Both safeties have interceptions now, Bowens earlier and now Harris, but it was Ruggeroli breaking through from the inside finally, number 77, that really forced this play. You got a piece of the quarterback, Lutz, who throws it up. The hang time of the ball, much too much after the piece by Ruggeroli, forces the interception. And again, excellent defense by the Bulldogs. This is the second series in succession that started in Bulldog territory, and both times the defense holds coming away with interception. Three minutes left first quarter. Over Parlider, plenty of time. Booms it into the air. Wells, from his 38, is hit hard by Robert Noble. How many times in the last two years on a punt situation has number 42 been there? Quite a bit. He's excellent on the specialty units. No flags. Now there is one. Barsotti whips it to the left, and it's caught by Alexander. He slips and falls, but he has the first down. Started San Jose State's 20 to 16 victory. Myron Jones in the draw is to the 30 yard line, still on his feet inside to the 28. Well, they're trying to alleviate the pressure on quarterback Mark Barsotti. They know the blitz is coming, and the draw is a perfectly capable call right here. And there's a good blocking display on that left side of the offensive line. And Myron Jones with that 4 3 speed blows right through it. Get it right now. The fourth down, and there goes the punt, and it will be recovered by Fresno State. It does not matter. It will be the Bulldogs' get. They've got it in the end zone. It's a touchdown. I believe it was James Williams that came up with the touchdown. There he is, the happy Bulldog, went right through 
the hands of the punter, and uh, you see the mad scramble there. Jim Hughes let it get right through him, and <laughs> it's tipped backwards. And there's the fleet-footed Williams to be in the right place at the right time. He's a happy young man, yeah. He started it last week with a long interception return, or two weeks ago, against Brett Snyder in Utah State. He scored again, and loop back to the point after. When it looked like they are scrambling for a greased pig, they come up with the greased pigskin, and Fresno State comes up with a 14-0 lead. 45, 54 is Ron Cox, 45 is Rogers, and Ken Lux is back to throw, and Cox and Rogers are both coming, and here comes Cox, and down goes Lux. They brought seven people that time. It was the inside rush from Garnett Fountain, the linebacker, 94, that really disrupts this play. He's coming right there. He turns Lutz outside, and then Ron Cox on the prowl. Ten and a half sacks this year now for Cox, his first one today. He'll get stronger and stronger as this game goes on. Proset. Proset again. First down. He's in the backfield. He's to the 40-yard line. Boy, he has that great second step that eludes the tackler and puts himself in a great position. Nice cutback by Darrell Rosette. Once he hit the crease, when he got to the hole, boom, he sees it to his left. In fact, he's going over in that direction. Nearly was able to get all that momentum back as he stumbled. That's an excellent effort by the transfer from Arizona State. it well. Wells backing up 24 yard line tries right. There's Robert Nobles. Quarterback will have one lone setback. That's Myron Jones and Barsotti wants to go to Daryl Reset. Has him for the first down. He's by the 35 and falls down near the 38 maybe the 39 yard line. A gain of 19 on the play. Jay Taylor did not wrap up Daryl Rosette in the open field and this could have turned out to be a real big gain as Taylor lets him get loose here. Right there on the open field, tackled him upstairs, should have gone down lower, and Rosette made him pay the price. Fresno State has gone 30 yards in the drive to the 50. Jones breaks one tackle, he's to the 40, he's to the 37-yard line, a Fresno State first down. Terrence Holly will hold. And Luke sends it through. It was not thing of beauty, but it's three points, and Fresno State has a 17-0 lead over San Jose State with 28 seconds left in the first half. Of getting into that end zone. 36-yard line, second and seven, and here comes the sack, and down goes Lutz. So once again, Fresno State's defense rises to the occasion. Tracy Rogers, the outside rush this time, and nobody blocks him. Watch number 45 come in clean. Somebody absolutely didn't pick him up there, and he just walks in, and Lutz is dead to rights and has to eat the football. Down and four. Johnson right. This time he's cut down. Maybe a loss of a yard in the play. And it was Blair Holloway and Tracy Rogers to make the tackle. You won't see a better play than Blair Holloway made there. From underneath, a solo tackle for Blair Holloway in the open field against Johnny Johnson. Claude Gilbert says we're going for it. Sends a man in motion. He looks to the right side, throws the football. It's knocked down. Fresno State takes over on a brilliant defensive play. It may have been Jeff White. He comes to the sideline and is still celebrating. He had a 35-yard. He's been kicking into this win all day, and he has this one block. And San Jose State picks it up and scores the touchdown. And that quickly, the Spartans are back in the game. Parliner really doesn't have a chance. Was there three of them there? And Kolar is going to get the gimme. Number 48 is going to take it in uncontested. Each team now has a special team touchdown. You don't see that very often. As Jones is a long setback. And here comes the blitz from Lloyd Forrest. Barsotti throws. Intercepted. Kolar again. He scores the touchdown. And here he comes up with a huge interception. 
second half. San Jose State has a touchdown. It's third and eight. And Jason Smith will be sacked at the 30-yard line. And perhaps taken out of field goal range. He does have a strong wind to his back. But this field goal, if they make the try, will be some from about 47 yards out. And Schmidt is limping off the field. What a play again by Tracy Rogers, showing his speed to get in the backfield and his strength with one arm to bring. Wide to the right side. So Fresno State holds and they'll take over first down at the 27 yard line. We'll keep one man in, that's Johnson. Rogers will blitz. Here comes the Holloway, and there's Rogers, and down goes Lutz. It's fourth down, a mile. 40 seconds left in the third quarter. We've got a real shoving match between Johnny Johnson and it looks like Nick Ruggeroli. What a defensive series, though, for the Bulldogs. They just saw the interception. All the momentum swing. They stop San Jose State. Right now, he'll go to the handoff. Flag goes down. And into the defensive backfield is Kelly Skipper for the first down. But again, flag is down. Right near the line of scrimmage. Offside against San Jose State. So Skipper's run will take effect and it'll be a big first down good blocking at the upper portion of your screen a big hole for Kelly Skipper and he knows exactly how to do the dance when he gets into the open field for the Bulldogs at the 45 yard line Barsotti buying time it's intercepted and look out here Kelly Skipper will drag his man down at the 12 yard line and as soon as you say the momentum is swung back to the red the blue and gold come up with a big play, and the flag is down as Truchel and Norman Brown got it in on the far sideline. Ken Lutz has him out there. He'll throw the football, and it's intercepted by Craig Bowens. Bowens is it to the 35-yard line and hold down at the 48. The defensive plays of the game, Tony Harris, and now Craig Bowens. Two interceptions in the game for Bowens. None bigger than that one this year. But let's recall the play by Kelly Skipper that saved the touchdown, something you may not hear about tomorrow. There would not have been this interception. It would have been a 17-14 game. But Bowens, reading the eye, of Lutz gets the INT and he also has a big return and what more can you say about this Fresno State Bulldog defense there Courtney wide right Hooker to the left Lutz on the option Evans has nowhere to go and he's down at the 21 yard line it will be third down 87 yards to go here comes the pressure Lutz loops the football intercepted again did he catch that? Yes, he did. Well, Ken Lutz, after playing so well in the first eight games this year, has suddenly made some poor decisions that have cost his football team. And Nick Ruggiroli coming up with a field goal saving interception. And how about the effort of Ron Cox, 54, Lutz had a decision. Take the sack or throw it up for grabs, and he decided to throw it up for grabs on third down, and the result, another interception and another marvelous play by Cox and Ruggerola. Standing at his own 25. Fresno State has had one punt blocked in this game. It was run back for a touchdown, and the pressure really looks like they're going to come this time, and they will. Overpar lighter gets it off and hits it pretty well, but Wells will have a return. He tries the right side, and, well, Mr. Nobles again. What else is new? Well, when you send 10, there's nobody to help out. Here's the blitz. Fountain on. Lutz scrambles away. Loops the football deep again. Touchdown! Kevin Evans! They get the crowd involved, and they will pick up now. Second down, 10. Barsotti looking, looking in trouble. Rolling out. Will he run? Yes, he will. He's to the 10. He's to the 15. He's got the first down out near the 28-yard line. You talk about guts in a quarterback. Intestinal fortitude. 
That's certainly in the book, the life story of this young man. Needing first down yardage, he turns it upfield. He looks like a running back. He puts the head down and gets extra yardage. That's big time. Lux looks. He flips the football. Evans can't hold it, and Fresno State takes over. One minute and 18 seconds left in the ball game. The Bulldogs will take over, and with San Jose State out of timeouts, it looks like the Bulldogs, all they have to do is hold on to the football, and they will be in first place in the Midwest Conference. And isn't it fitting that it was Tracy Rogers that came in? We'll go to one knee, and the clock winding down. That will be the final play of this football game. It was a difficult time in the second half for Fresno State. But those fans in the Valley can uh, start rejoicing and get off the floor because Jim Sweeney has beaten that man, Claude Gilbert, his old nemesis. Here at Spartan Stadium, the final score, Fresno State 17, San Jose State 15. And the fans, the Red Wave faithful holding the banners that are saying Cal Bowl, Fresno State versus question mark. And that is indeed a true situation because in the past, the winner of this football game has gone to the California Bowl in December.